Hi, this is Shadi and welcome back to another technical comparison and this video it's gonna be Lucy Decos versus Daria Bilodid. Now Daria Bilodid is notorious for her Ochigari, but if you know a little bit about judo you would know that if someone mastered the Ochigari it's Lucy Decos. They're both left-handed, they both do it in a Ken Ken style and also if you don't know Lucy Decos is actually a three-time world champion one time runner-up world champion, one time runner-up Olympic champion and a gold medal in 2012 back in London, uh, the Olympic Games. So today we're gonna see who does it better. Of course we're gonna take into consideration the uh, weight category they were in. Uh, Lucy Decos was a heavier woman, she was stronger, she did not compete against uh, people of short stature like Daria Bilo did. Her height was average so all these things are gonna be taken into consideration because they do change a lot in the approach of the technique, especially when doing the Ken Ken in order to get uh, the Ippon. So first, we start with Daria. Everyone's uh, we already know who she is and we've seen her work before, but we're gonna look at it from another angle. So her Ochigari is, as I've mentioned, Ken Ken. However, uh, because she is competing against people who are very short. Uh, in the minus 48 she tends to keep her posture upright and uh, sometimes not take an angle because when you're in a left versus right situation oh chigari you need to take an angle and hop towards the uh, leg that's still standing in order to collapse the balance in total so this is what daria below did uh, does if you see her against tonaki she did take uh, a slight a, a diagonal angle but here, as you can see, it did a slight variation to her foot that was hopping in order to get the Ippon, but the posture always remained upright. She hooks on the level of the lower thigh or the knee, and this is where she starts to drive, trying to get closer. Here, you can see she did not take an angle, she just uh, kept straight into the axis. However, she took uh, like a perpendicular stance to her opponent and then started to attack here as well she did not take the angle like uh, if if Tunaki was taller or heavier she would need to take the angle because uh, it would be impossible almost to throw because imagine someone so much taller than you coming at you and you're standing on one leg of course you're gonna fall down but if you are stronger or the same height it's not the same uh, scenario. So let's take a look at Lucy de Costa Uchigari. Lucy de Costa Uchigari is, if when one look at it, it almost looks uh, the same. But Lucy de Costa has a few tricks up her sleeve. For example, she does bend a little bit uh, forward when she's going for uh, the Uchigari. She calls it Uchimata or Uchi, kind of like a cross between. Ken Ken and Ochigari, Ken Ken Uchimata and Ochigari. However, uh, she does bend over in order to l really lower the sleeve and push down on the lapel because, as I've mentioned, she wasn't taller like Daria, and also she was. She, they were uh, heavy women. She was in the minus seventy, far different than the uh, minus seventy-eight. However, if I have one critique for her Ochigari, it's sometimes she can be a little bit far, which. Uh, makes her prone to counter attacks for example in the final of uh, the Beijing Olympics she was far and she couldn't break the opponent's balance and she was easily countered and lost the final of the Olympics so that's one thing I have to uh, take as a critique uh, other than that uh, Hiro Uchigari look she bends down and starts to hop in order to pull on the sleeve and destroy the balance and sometimes she would do it like uh, Daria Bilodi and keep an upright posture in case she was physically stronger. But other than that, uh, her Ochigari is on the surface very similar to Daria. However, her angle, taking it at an angle is very important and also bending down in order to push down the collar and pull on the sleeve uh, very well. And that will make her Ochigari far more successful. So if you have another insight to add, please let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.